Diamond Snake player. I'm trying to make a small documentary and show the things that are happening in the game. All and everything that the game appears to be may not be. Parents may want to pay attention to what I'm about to show. This is a, an account of fears. Oh, let me see my messy bank. I so dread this. For me, oops, here. Yeah, baby. Smile, smile. Give these to Maine too. Okay, my baby, okay. I get Maine now. Hold up by another player. Hold up. You do realize that that's against the rules, didn't you? Okay, here's the main thing on this. When I hand something to someone else and they have it in their inventory, it's considered theirs. That means it no longer belongs to me. If I wish to switch players and they are kind enough to give these things back to me, that makes it that they are giving it to me and not me just handing it to myself or drop trading like they were before in the old days. By the way, this is the Annihilator, Real Legend. I am the one that plays the character Real Legend on RuneScape. This is to show some of my little friends that asked me to see what I look like, and I told them that I lived weight when I was younger and stuff, and that uh, I'm 47 years old and I still built pretty good. It's good to exercise and, and stuff. And uh, I'm an uh, eighth grade black belt in the martial art, like I told them. And uh, this is just a little shot of muscle tone and stuff for me, just to show, just for them. Still have a little bit of six pack left. Okay, and back to the uh, talking about RuneScape and the things that's happening on RuneScape at the time. Okay, this is the character that uh, we were talking about earlier when they, they in the below uh, accident or uh, make believe uh, accident that I was supposed to had and I broke was supposed to have broken a rule of uh, trading another player that belongs to you uh, item in which that I gave the item to another player. That player could have kept an item, but he decided to give back to me, meaning it was a trade to him, and he traded it back to me, and he gave it back to me, meaning at any time and any place in that thought that Jagex had that that right there was breaking the rules is absolutely wrong. Now, take into consideration the fact that the person could have kept the items, I have trusted people because I've been good to people all the time I've played. I have trusted people to hand them a party hat and them give it to another one of my players. Do not tell me I break rules when I do not break rules. For you have to prove this to me. And that is not very easy to do since I am a law-abiding citizen and I do not break rules.
Okay, now we're on the Annihilator's Town. And let's look at the message center on it. We will close this one because it seems to have a problem with it being opened. Let me pause for a second because this is eating up the time that it uh, can be aired on YouTube. Okay, now we've entered the game on my uh, uh, Real Legend account, as you can see down here, and I was uh, uh, charged with announcing websites. Uh, can someone tell me what that right there character is doing at the moment right now? Uh, if YouTube had long enough time and would give enough time, I would show you a lot more of that. But we're going to walk on up through here and go toward the GE and uh, find out and see if there's any more uh, website announcing or anything. But I have to stop the video to make it all fit on this or I'll make it in two uh, parts. Uh, Y'all wanted to, everybody from the uh, game wanted to hear me do a documentary. Well, you're getting a documentary right now. See, I've got a, a college degree in sociology and psychology, and I play these games that Jagex has been trying to play with me. I asked him to make me a moderator where I could shut up people like him right there, that little kid, and I don't talk mean to him or nothing, but I would mute him. Okay, they're removing bots from the game, or supposedly, supposedly removing bots from the game, but yet you see this right here, this constantly. That is a automated system built to run to make uh, it type for you. It's a bot, yes. Look at that. Is that not a mess? This happens beside our banks sometimes and you cannot no one can understand what someone else is saying with a full paragraph because you're only allowed to write one line and then it cuts you off so you have to write, it, write another line and from the one line to the other line you have 35 or 40 of these right here you can't understand what somebody else is trying to talk to you about okay you can put them all on they said put them all on ignore let's see how many is that right there you got two you got a hundred uh, places to put people on ignore where are those, all of those going to go on an ignored list? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I don't know neither. Okay, we had a little argument going on right here. Let's see what it leads into. This is what I'm telling you about the filtering system. That toggle profanity filter... Yeah, I'm sure that the kids are going to turn off that to where they can't curse. And when they get behind their parents' back, they that's what they do on here. They curse. Parents do not know it, but they are doing it. Moderators of this game are randomly picked, whether they be 
uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, or of my age, 47, which would not allow a child or anyone else to talk profanity in front of a woman in the first place, especially a child or another man. But ladies are talked down to and treated like dirt on here with this profanity filter that they call, so-called, supposed to be. The only thing it is good for is to be able to tell other players, do not give someone your password. Because password used to be starred out. 